terror attacks in the heart of Europe. The suicide bomber struck Brussels airport. That came shortly before the city's metro system was also hit. At least 25 people have been killed and many more are injured. Twin explosions rocked the departure hall at the airport during rush hour. Witnesses claim to have heard Arabic shouts shortly before the blast. The area is now sealed off with no flights leaving or arriving. All passengers are being evacuated. At the scene is Ukrainian member of parliament Olena Sotnik. She describes the situation on the ground to Ukraine today. At the moment of explosion, we were in the airport, uh, just on, on the train station, and the train stopped and everybody just was evacuated from the train. And we saw a lot of people that were just evacuating from the uh, airport and uh, a lot of uh, light injuries uh, and uh, people were really uh, very emotional and uh, they felt fear. It wasn't like panic, but everything was blocked. A lot of ambulances, a lot of police, and a lot of people just that were leaving the airport. It was, it was shocked. People were shocked, and uh, uh, because they didn't uh, understand what is happening, and uh, they, a lot of them they just didn't uh, see anything. Uh, they were just waiting for information from officials, from police, but uh, everybody was just doing what they were asked, asked uh, police just uh, tell everybody go out as far as possible from the airport the area the all. and it wasn't like panic but of course everybody feel uh, shocked moments after the incident in the airport two more explosions rocked the metro stations of Malbik and Schumann close to EU buildings the entire Brussels metro system has been shut down Authorities have raised the terror alert for the country to its highest level. The attacks come just four days after the arrest in Brussels of the last surviving participant of the November terror attacks in Paris that killed 130 people.